Oh, the big O's moto. Hope everybody's doing all right. It's been a couple of weeks since we uh, done a video. Uh, last time we done a video on uh, splitting crankcases, and my helper, my son, assistant Nick, helped me that night, and uh, we've moved on from that. Uh, tonight I'll be working solo. Uh, 16 year old boys they get a girlfriend and their brain seizes up you can't get any, you don't can't get anything out of them i mean they're they got a one track mind so i'll be working tonight all uh, by myself and with harbor freight today well actually i got this a few weeks ago got me an air chisel okay it didn't come with the right head. It just had the, the flat head, and I went back today and got one of these uh, pointy air hammer, uh, yeah, air hammer chisels. And I got it in a three pack. That's a pack. This is the pack it comes in right here. Uh, Central pneumatic. These are the seven inch long chisels. Got them about eight bucks. The reason that why I had to go get that is. Uh, the uh, swing arm, a lot, swing arms are made out of aluminum and your bolts, uh, chain adjuster bolts are steel. Well, steel and aluminum don't mix. When it seizes up because people don't think about putting uh, anti-seize on the bolts before they put them in, and over years and time they corrode and get all jammed up, and then you can't get them loose. Well, I've tried heat. I've welded a nut on the chain adjuster bolt, and that didn't work. Uh, tried taking it off, and then and the, the bolt, the it, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't break it loose. And one on one side, I'll show you here in just a minute. I've got it drilled out, and I had to use uh, titanium drill bits, and I broke several drill bits getting it out. But I got it out. The other side, not so lucky. I had used a uh, uh, an ease out tool, and an ease out tool broke off in it. Well, you know that's if you know anything about it, that's hardened steel, and it's impossible to get them out. So I conversed with some other Honda CR riders who has had the same problem, and they says if you can't take a die grinder and cut a slit and use a flathead screwdriver to back it off, he said, you're going to have to use an air chisel and you're just going to, have to chisel it out. So we're going to try that here in just a minute and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll show you each side what it looks like here in just a second. Uh, be right back. Okay, right here I'm going to show you this right that's the side I was able to drill out, and I can't tell you how many drill bits I actually went through to push it out. And I went ahead and drilled a couple of holes on the side to see how long that bolt was. That's not a big deal. I'm going to TIG weld that back up, uh, seal it up. And that is an oversized hole. That's okay, not a big deal. I'm going to weld that back up and re-drill it because it is aluminum. It, aluminum's easier to drill th than steel. Now, this is the side who, that's given me trouble for the last few months. I really haven't touched the, the swing arm the last uh, three or four months because of that. But well, tonight, we're going to try to chisel that out. But that's the, the bolt is still in there. Uh, it's hard to see. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's just, there's the top, and then this, that's about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter long. That's my estimation. But in there is that, you can't see that ease out too broken off. There's a hole drilled, but it's broke off, and it's just seized up. So we're going to see what we can do with the air chisel. All right, we're back. Uh, we're going to see if we can chisel this thing out. And uh, if you hear my compressor go off there and all this, we'll just keep working, working, see if we can push this on through. See what the air chisel will do. Here we go. Ooh, that's loud.
Okay. All right. After chiseling on this thing for a few minutes, I've discovered this right here is really a waste of time, but I wanted to put this video out there because this is what was suggested. Air chiseled this out, and it, it might have penetrated a little bit, and I may come back and work on it some more, but you see what it's doing. It's beating all this to death, and it didn't really go down a whole lot. And look at that chisel head. As you can see, it's if it'll focus, I can get it to focus. Uh, it chewed the head up pretty, pretty good. Which I know they flatten out. That's what they do. But I don't think this is the best option to get that chain adjuster bolt out. I think I see what is left of the the bolt itself. But it looks like I'm gonna have to take this to a machine shop. And let them drill this thing out on a on a uh, uh, machine and drill it through and get it out of there. It's the only option we we can left to do. Which I got some other parts that need to be machined. So that's probably what I want to do is take them all together and get them machined at a later date. So with that, I'm going to sign off from Big O's Moto. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe. And, and I hope we'll come back in next time on another episode of Big O's Moto. So have a good night.